Hey YouTube, Mike Hammer, 1911 here. Um, what I have for you today is uh, just a look at a new knife I picked up. This will be the K-Bar Famine Tonto. It is in their um, their zombie line uh, that they brought out. Uh, I believe there's four fixed blade knives in that series and a folder. So, um, yeah, as I said, as I already said, the uh, Zombie Killer Famine Tonto. So here it is. I haven't, uh, I haven't used this knife yet for anything. I haven't had a chance to take it out and uh, put it through its test. So um, basically it's just kind of a look at it. Um, still brand new. All I did basically was uh, unwrap it all, kind of put it in the sheath and and uh, put it back in the box so okay so here it is um, as you can see the uh, bright green handle um, it has like a uh, texture to it um, so anyways it looks pretty neat um, yeah the sheath is uh, fairly heavy duty uh, got some kind of molly straps on the back of it um, the zombie killer uh, logo there um, some more kind of molly straps obviously a belt loop um, on the front here has this green cord it's not like a paracord I think it's more like a like a shoelace <laughs> like a green shoelace kind of this weird uh, kind of large pouch um, handy actually I guess for carrying whatever you need to um, it comes with just more of that uh, shoelace basically that green cord um, and you can tie it off or you know and there's also up there as well but anyways um, so there it is um, yeah it's a nice looking knife. It's got the uh, K bar and the zombie killer on the side of it there. Um, fairly thick, seems, you know, fairly heavy duty. Um, not the sharpest knife um, out of the box, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's K bar, so it's going to be decent. I don't think that this is going to be one of the best knives they've made, but. Um, Whatever, it's you know it's reasonable. I think it was about sixty dollars, sixty nine dollars maybe. Um, I kind of like the rounded uh, serrations. It's a little different. Um, anyways, so that's it. Feels good, um, you know, in your hand though. And uh, as I said before, pretty solid. Feels substantial. Um, so that's that. <laughs> Also, in the uh, sheath here, a little tab in here that you open, and then there is a smaller little knife. It's kind of a skeletonized uh, little knife. Not really necessary, I don't think. <laughs> Maybe kind of a neat feature, but I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty, pretty tiny, uh, pretty thin, but you know, um, Neat anyways. Again, it's got the little mini uh, zombie killer symbol on it and the K-bar there. Um, so yeah. The sheath, uh, the big one is is lined with fairly heavy duty plastic. Uh, as well as the little one actually. It's lined as well. Um, so yeah, the sheath, the sheath especially is what really it impressed me. Um, looks fairly well built. Looks very solid. Um, sturdy. Uh, so here's the uh, here's what came in the box. This is just basically cardboard that was over the blades and stuff. It also comes with um, black grips if you uh, don't like those green grips. You want to go a little bit more, uh, you know, tactical. <laughs> you can have the uh, black grips. Still in the plastic, obviously. I'm not putting the black grips on it. I mean, I bought it. I basically bought it because it was a cool knife and you know zombie killer k-bar so I mean I'm keeping the green grips on it uh, just goes with the theme of the knife but 
black grips are an option. They come with it, as well as some new uh, hardware, the Allen head bolts and stuff like that um, for securing the, the other grips too. So, so anyways, um, that's that. Uh, I picked this one up at uh, Cabela's. Um, they only had two of them, two of the knives in the store that I went to. I forget what the other one was called, but uh, whatever it was, I like this one better. Um, I understand there is a little folder as well that they offer and four of these kind of large fixed blade knives. Um, but yeah, pretty sweet anyways. Um, I'll report back maybe if I get a chance to take it out and you know test it a little bit and stuff, but um, yeah, that's it for now. All right, talk to you later.